uh, they've never dealt with um, an overdose. You don't have that confidence to, to, to do what you need to do in order to save that life property. BC marked a near record 175 overdose deaths in July. That's more than car crashes, suicides, and COVID-19 deaths combined. In the ongoing battle against the opioid crisis, a new overdose intervention app gives bystanders the power to save lives. The overdose intervention app was invented by Oxus Machine Works as a response to a community need, specifically around overdoses in British Columbia as it pertains to the uh, BIPOC communities. The app itself really helps those communities that have difficulty accessing information that's vital to respond to an overdose. The app itself has an inbuilt 911 calling feature. It also features uh, steps, guidance on how to uh, administer first aid in the event of an overdose, how to recognize an overdose, and also how to administer naloxone. Hugh Lampkin at the Vancouver Area Network of Drug Users thinks the concept behind the app is good, but for real success, bystanders have to learn to cross some bridges when it comes to approaching drug users. Number one being uh most people, when they're walking past somebody on the sidewalk, are really reluctant and hesitant to approach that person. Um, if they do, there's a, there's a bit of fear that the person is going to be violent. People look at us differently, right? So it's like, you're a bunch of junkies, you just do that. And I mean, that, that is a, a barrier to really helping people if people have that, that attitude. I think the app would be very helpful, but also it has to work uh, on both sides of the coin. Uh, addicts also have to start using these places that have been provided for them. Uh, I notice that more and more are, are, are going to the streets, so there must be something wrong here. While the BC government's recent lifeguard app targeted people who used drugs alone, the overdose intervention app was made for the community. There's ubiquitous technologies that are meant for users. This is meant for the community so that everyone is involved in the response to the overdose crisis. Upkar Singh Tatle adds the app also doesn't track or store user data. It's available in English, Punjabi, and soon some indigenous languages. In Vancouver, Kirjunos, City News.